Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're inspired. Hope you're motivated. Hope you're having a great day, great morning so far. Just a quick message of inspiration for you. Today, what I have is to help you strengthen your mind, your soul, your vision, and your dream for the future. Every day you're going to come across challenges, obstacles, situations that you did not expect, you were not aware of, that could happen, but it doesn't matter, guys. As I said, if you have a vision, if you have a dream to do something great, to impact, to change your life, to change your family's life, to change your future, and to change America, just believe in what you're doing, just believe in, in the purpose behind your actions, okay? Go after your dreams every day, chase them with relentlessness, with that passion, with that enthusiasm, with that energy that you have, okay? And once you're able to do that, you're this close. One step closer to achieving your dream, guys. So that's pretty much it. Don't get down on yourself. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Don't quit on yourself. Instead of doing that, believe even more in yourself. Believe in your dream and believe in your mission. I'll see you guys at the top. Stay blessed. And what is our motto? Create the vision and live the dream. Today we're headed to Manassas, a local city nearby where we live. Guys, we're going to do some work there. After we finish killing that work there, the hustle, we're going to go back edit this video and post it up for you okay so it's 8 a.m so i'll take you guys along the journey once we're there i'm gonna film something else for you but guys we're inspired motivated each and every day to chase our dreams and do whatever it takes for them this road guys we got the cars town homes right there look at that beauty of sky Beautiful sky right there. Guys, so today we're taking the bus and public transportation. So comment below in the city that you are, is there public transportation? Is there a bus system? And also is it really good or not? Because uh, honestly, the one in Virginia here in Prince William is not really that, that great, guys. So sometimes bothering some that uh, these, this bus transportation is not too good. But um, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So comment below where you're at and if there's some type of bus or transportation publicly for everyone, okay? Hey, guys. Welcome back. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, okay? So the topic today is that one thing that you're missing. There's only one thing you're missing in life right now to blow up anything that you're doing, okay? Blow up in finances, to blow up in everything. You could be doing good, you could be doing decent, but to blow it up, there's only one thing that you're missing, okay? Actually, let's backtrack. There's two things that you're missing. Take this mask out, guys. There's two things that you're missing. Number one is passion. You're missing passion in your life, okay? And I'm not talking about relationship passion. I'm not talking about that, okay? Because, of course, a relationship won't, won't work unless you're passionate about it. Look at that. That guy right there, he broke so hard, he almost crashed. I always say, cars are always interrupting our videos, guys. But number one thing is passion. You have to put passion behind anything you do, guys. Because once you put passion, you're putting that energy, you're putting that enthusiasm, you're putting that effort into what you're doing. The universe is gonna see that. Once it sees that, it's gonna reward you with great things. But if you're just going about life normally, if you just have normal energy, if you just have like no type of energy at all, then yeah, you could be doing good, but you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be stressed, you're not gonna have fun in what you're doing. So put passion behind it, okay? That's number one. And number two is look at everything that you do. Look at it as fun, okay? Don't analyze it into what it really is. Because if you start actually seeing or analyzing into what it really is or what it could be, you know, in most instances, it's going to be something that you don't like. So put that fun aspect into it. Remind yourself that. 
remind yourself that this is fun, you know, this is something you love to do. This is something that 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 you want to do, guys. So make it fun for yourself. Huh? And now I'm gonna share three things that could help you, you know, find that passion and make whatever you're doing right now fun. Okay? Number one, don't analyze the actual situation. Look at it as out of the box, as something, you know, something fun, something that, that, that you can do, something that you love to do. So change the perception of, of what it really is into something that you want it, what you want it to. Look at this, guys. We're right here in front of this little pond after having a good breakfast. Oh, almost got wet. No, almost wet myself, guys. Hey, you dirty minds, don't think, don't think that way. There was a... Uh, a sprinkler right there. That's what I thought. Okay, that's what I thought. And look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Hey guys, so now we're back here in Manassas. As I was saying, the number two thing that you're missing and why you're not life to another level, okay, is because you're not focused, because you're not seeing the clear picture of what your life should be, what your dream should be, what your future should be. Look at the at, at the larger picture. Okay, I was reading a book this morning that says practice long-term creative thinking. Okay, when you practice that, that's gonna allow you to see the vi bigger vision, bigger picture of your dream, of what you want to do, of what you want to be in life, what your future is gonna look like. Okay, so practice that. Okay, number two. Now, number three. Why you're not taking your life to another level, and why? Okay, it's because. You're not expressing your dream. You're not expressing what you want. You're not affirming it. You're not declaring it. You're not putting it out into the universe. Okay, because once you do that, once you understand that when you declare something, it becomes flesh, it becomes reality. So you're not declaring.